Yeah, my wonderful people, we are some subscribers all over the world. Oh, my people are begging, make on a no verse, make on a no mind me. I'll make on a no uh, care about my voice. Um, uh, it is obvious that today I will not be able to go live or do more videos the way I used to do. But uh, I come across uh, this uh, video from Simon Epa the second. This guy has been proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he is um, supporting Biafra. But I don't know his motive, whether his motive is genuine or not. That is what I cannot guarantee. But the, model, the modus operandi of this guy shows that this is uh, Simon Epa the second. But he happens to emanate from uh, the northern part of the country. And he is a Muslim Igbo. Yeah, let me put it that way. He's a Muslim Igbo. So this message uh, he sent out to the general public, those who is uh, condemning the Igbos, though he's calling for Igbos uh, to leave Lagos or the Southeast or the Zoo. Now the second Simon Epa have come out to confirm what the first Simon Epa have been crying out uh, all this while. He said that uh, Igbos don't want Nigeria. Simon Epa the second said. So I would like you to just pay your utmost attention as you listen to this very clip. It is, a, uh, it is a mouth watering clip and it is a something that is going to give joy to me and you. But the motive of this guy is what I cannot tell because the zoo or the so called Fulanese, if they want to penetrate you, they will have a 50 or 100 years plan. They don't penetrate like today or tomorrow, no. They set out the plan and uh, watch it unfold. That is how they conquered the northern part of uh, the zoo. But whichever way it is, uh, the Igbos, the Igbos, the Biafrans I know too well, are intellectuals, people with uh, many kinds of wisdoms. Igbos are like cats with nine lives, not seven again, nine lives. That is uh, what is made up of uh, 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 a Biafran, let me put it that way. So please listen to this music, uh, sorry, listen to this uh, clip. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. He is making a point and he is speaking the minds of every Biafran out there. And I would like you to do what? To do me a favor. You like this message, you share it, you comment on it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is C.D. Man. I'm on the Don't forget, today happens to be Tuesday, 6th of August, 2024. Please listen to this clip and leave your comment at the comment section. I will write back to read the comments because uh, people commented on this very video. We are going to take the comments one after the other after you've uh, you finished listening to this clip from Mazi Simon Epa the second, a replicant of uh, Simon Epa the first. Oh yeah, let us go there. I want you all to share those for anybody at all on earth who does not see Nigerian politicians. In fact, those kleptomaniacs, those criminals, those thieves, and something else in that shit hole you call Nigeria. In fact, today I stumbled across uh, a video in which a cerebral journalist, a very intelligent woman who was speaking intelligently, audibly, clearly, straightforwardly, to that criminal minister of West called David Mahi. In fact, the shit. That stupid idiot spewed out of his mouth, really baffled me. It shook me to the root of my heart. In fact, I never knew that man is so idiotic like that. In fact, I am very ashamed of him. That man is nothing but a, a very big god. Whoever knows him to tell that man that he is a disgrace to the, to, 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 to the education he claimed to have, or to the education of the zoo. After all, what do you learn in the zoo? You learn nothing. You learn absolutely nothing because everything about the zoo here is just nonsense. In fact, the woman he could not answer straight question that woman placed forward not before him. Rather, maybe whether you saw the woman or whatsoever. Tell the woman he is not competent, or if he is competent, if he is incompetent in that position, of stand, let him resign and go to his village. In fact, no wonder after he left uh, one state, the state became poor, very, very poor, you know, as it has always been in the entire eastern part of Nigeria. That same day, that same day with Umayi, that idiot, also made a statement that I was very shocked hearing from him. He said, concerning the uh, coastal, whatever road rubbish they're trying to construct, 
where there are so many roads there, dead, unmotorable. He said that Peter will be is inciting the evils against the ABC government or the government brother. In fact, I don't know what is wrong with that man. That man is nothing but a total idiot, a complete fool, a moron. Tell him that if he's incompetent to hold a position he's holding there, let him get out to his village. It's nothing but a total disgrace to the education he received in Nigeria or you know, wherever. If he doesn't understand what the woman was asking him, let him go and ask his children to interpret for him. Yes. Let him go and ask his children who probably are schooling abroad to interpret for him. Otherwise, he's an idiot. In fact, having said that, those are the kind of leaders your country you know, has employed to steer the ship of the nation. Buhari also had a compendium of morons, a compendium of brainless people, idiots, that when they open their mouths to talk, you wonder whether there is actual, whether there is actually brain in their heads. You begin to wonder, understand? They are learning. In fact, we've seen a lot in this country. In fact, I also want to place it here. A few days ago, a few last week, I also watched the wife of this president, Tinubu, the president, where she was calling everyone to unite in the country, and I just laughed. I don't know the kind of idiots we see in this country. That same woman, a lot of you have watched the video. You knew about this video I'm talking about. Where that same woman was specifically speaking about the evils that perhaps they don't vote for a stupid kleptomaniac husband, they are going to forfeit their properties in Lagos and will be driven out of Lagos. And it happened year after the elections. We later saw what happened how the property, the businesses of the Igbos were destroyed in Lagos. We saw it clearly, but sometimes I always ask myself why they hate towards the Igbos in the country. If you don't want them, why not let them go? The Igbos are not begging for one Nigeria at all. It is Nigeria, I've said this several times, that wants the Igbos at all cost. I am saying authoritatively, if he pains you, go and hold the transformer and die. It is Nigeria that wants the Igbos at all cost. Igbos don't want Nigeria. If you hear those leaders, those idiots like Begumai and the rest talking about Nigeria, they are talking about Nigeria in their own interest. The Igbos don't talk about Nigeria. We don't want Nigeria. We are Biafrans. And by the grace of God, Biafra is going to come before your very eyes. And those idiots like Begumai who think that they, they are stumbling blocks to Biafra, we shall force and impose Biafra on every one of them. That's the fact about it. If Biafra does not come, I will not believe that God truly exists. That's the fact about it. That same woman was talking nonsense. Now today she's calling that everybody should unite. Unite on what basis? On what basis was she calling for the unity of the Igbos and everybody in the country? On what basis? In fact, listen to also this nonsense I heard from that so-called Shetima, that shit man. Imagine the nonsense he was even saying from his mouth that the economy has failed under Tinubu or whatsoever rubbish she was talking about. You see, because this government borrowed the ideas of both Peter Obi and um, um, Atikwa Uwaka. Just imagine. And that's why the economy has failed. That this time around, that Tinubu is going to use his own ideas and whatsoever. Can you just imagine that nonsense? If you are sensible enough, if you are brave, if you are thinking, if you are a plausible human being, understand? What can you deduce from that statement of those, so those idiots? You have your own ideas and then you cannot implement it, you are not come to tell us, tell the public, that the economy failed. Thank God even acknowledge that the economy failed, that Nigeria is, that Nigeria is a failed state. You see, thank God even acknowledge that fact, that the economy has failed because you borrowed the idea from whatsoever, wherever you think of. Understand? Automatically, the means don't have anything to offer. You see, why Nigeria is going to die is this. Hypocrisy is going to kill Nigeria. And I've said this separately. When Jonathan was in power, you know, at the bomb price of fuel at 87 Naira, there was a protest called and led for the lives of that, you know, so called Bushima, called Goresho Inka, the lives of uh, Tunde Bakare, the Udumaki, and the rest, all of them gathered there in the west. And then in the north, they were also protesting everywhere. And then you all protested against the country. 
against the Russian government, calling all kinds of incredible names. There was, there, there was no name that that man was not called. And then thereafter came the government of Buhari that was 100 times worse than the government of Dr. Jonathan. And those four scholars, we know their names, most of them have also barred from appointments in this criminal government. Those four scholars who read prayers against the Jonathan government, who were part of the Buhari government, did not read that same and could against the Buhari's government because they were part of it. Even when the government was worse, 100 times worse than the Jonathan government, they did not. That's why I say hypocrisy will kill all of you. Let me tell you, I don't believe in your religion. I don't have time for your stupid, your stupid. None of you have said it that in my life I will never listen to any religious scholar from the north. I will never, because they are nothing but hypocrites. Hypocrites to the core. I will never listen to any one of you again because they do. Nothing can change any one of you. Then came again this Tibu's government. The Lord of scholars collected millions of naira and then sold this government to the, to, the, to the masses. Today this government has done 300 times worse. You see, than the Jonathan's government, and none of you, none of you deemed it fit to call for protest. All of you are just so silent as if nothing is happening. As if it's normal, and then they exotically come to tell us to pray. That that's how God wants it. Let me tell you one thing, do not bring in God in here. God does not want a situation like that. Don't, don't tell us that rubbish. You see, you're all just quiet as if nothing is happening at all. As if it's normal. As if it's normal. That's why I say, if nothing else would kill Nigeria, it is hypocrisy first and foremost. Any society at all in life can endure unbelief, but such a society can never survive, can never survive hypocrisy. That is why God Almighty called the Arabs in the Holy Book, in the, in the glorious Quran, is here. God himself called the Arabs hypocrites. He called the Arabs hypocrites. So why should I be afraid to call all of you hypocrites? You see, the word of God does not fear anyone. You see, it hits the ground like a rock and hits you, whether you like it or not. I have said it several that Nigeria will die. Nothing will save Nigeria. All this time, the Remy Helter scared that you see how they can patch up things. Now they are planning on concocting stories and lies that they're going to tell you about the Buhari's government, sorry, the uh, Tiflobo's government on its achievements so far. That Ngelali or whatsoever you call him, that Laila idiot that looks like a toy, is already preparing to tell you lies. He's even said that Nigerians have, you know, have, they're, 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 they're purchasing, uh, uh, purchasing power. You know, has increased, which is very idiotic and a big lie. I am watching for all of you to see how you're going to make it in this country. The country is dead. If you like, believe it. So, when I don't hear I'm finished, this one is coming from the office uh, of uh, Simon Epa, the second, uh, where happens to be a Muslim, maybe a Muslim Igbo or Muslim Awasa, but this guy is a replicant of Simon Epa. Whether his uh, intentions are real, genuine, or not. I, Okute, cannot tell, but time will tell. Because time, only thing that use a long time wound. Eh? I mean, uh, very uh, far away, or long time wound, whatever you say. may choose to call it, and whatever is uh, their own cup of tea. But let us uh, just go straight to the reason uh, of uh, the committee. Let us see what people reason concerning this matter, whether they support this guy or they turn against the guy. Um, keep the fire burning, oh, my brother. This one is Abu Hopu Chikwa. He said, all must help Biafra, the star nation of the Negroid race. Esther Mbadu was a son of the soil. May the gods of the Biafra nation continue to guide you. At Katie Hart, he said, a man of wisdom and truth, you have spoken well. May your days be long. And according to uh, Osha, he said, we love you, Mbadibo. You are the best. Thank you for standing for the truth. And uh, this one is uh, this is a man of physical spirit of Biafra. At uh, God is the king. Say he is truly speaking like Namdekano. Wow. Michael uh, Banton said, I love this man. He has the same voice with Mazen Namdekano. At charity, Umike said, This man speaks and sounds like Namdekano, another Biafra warrior we have. Ziba said, Nam Gaba Gwabaha, when an Igbo blood speaks, you need nobody to convince you. Tunde Bakare have lost his voice 
since Buhari regime to his death. One now keep hammering their heads. I don't even understand what Igbos are still doing in this church after insulting the Igbos uh, li live in his church. I'm watching this our brother talk. Michael Ogaruzo said, hem, 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 I'm afraid oh, this sounds like Namdekano's voice. Translate to English. <laughs> Is a thank God said a God bless the United States of Biafra. A prophet has said it that something greater than Namdekano or someone greater than Martin Namdekano and Simon Eba is coming if they continue to delay Biafrans. According to Olu Tukwe Bube Odo, he said, My brother, God bless you. As Stanley Kelechi, all hell Biafra. Ziba said, Hashtag release Martin Namdekano now. Biafra, Mass Exodus 2024, kudos to BG, kudos to Simon Ekpa, and many more others. So my people, now here we go take back break. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. Have a nice day. Kemesiano.